Justin, what did I just write on the board? Um, change in X. Change in X, that would be one way to say it. That's good. Uh, Naveen? Okay. Delta X. Joshua? Displacement, these are all correct words here. Delta X would be the symbols. Change in X, delta means change in. And delta X specifically stands for displacement. Delta X is equal to what? Uh, final position of X minus the initial position of X. The final minus the initial, so this would be the final position minus the initial position. Okay, and what is missing from what I have written on the board? Something missing, very important about this place. I should indicate it here. So, it, it has direction, therefore, how do I indicate that? That's absolutely correct. But how do I indicate that, Justin? Like a line over it. A line over the top. This line means what? Um, Minji? The direction? It does not necessarily mean the direction, just is a symbol that indicates, Nikolai, it's that it's a vector. And a vector class has both? Nice. So we have the concept of displacement versus distance. We have vector versus scalar. Now, a vector has both magnitude and direction, whereas a scalar has magnitude Now, you would be surprised at the number of things in this class that come down to vector versus scale. So it's a, it's a very simple concept in principle, yet it comes up often in this class. All the way through Marge will be learning stuff and I'll do something and you'll all forget it's a scalar, or it's a vector, and you'll all be wrong, it's fun. Now I correct you, but only some of you make a mistake, and then we do it again. Okay. Um, so, next, the concept of a derivative. All right, it looks like this. The velocity in the x direction by definition, by definition is equal to the limit of delta x over delta t as delta t goes to zero. Graphically, it looks like this. We have position as a function of time. We have some sort of graph of that position versus time that may look like this. Who knows what it looks like? We take two points. We'll take one here and one here. This will be time initial. This will be time final. That makes this time the change in time. This would be x initial. This would be x final. This distance here, then, would be the change in position, the displacement of that. Now, the thing is that we're talking about the limit, which is uh -oh. oh, which is the confusing piece. So we have to talk about what that limit means. until we get to the point where if we bring both close together, we could talk about right here, where at this point, delta t is very, very small, very, very close to zero. And what you get then is this line. Which means 
the derivative of a function is a function of time, or, well, a derivative is the slope of a line at a specific point. And the way we write that is, D x d t. This means the derivative of x with respect to t. So the derivative of position with respect to time, the derivative of x with respect to t. Now, I do want to point out that you could have, for example, v sub t. And we could figure out the line, and that would be dv dt, the derivative of velocity with respect to time. You could even do something as abstract as x and y, switching them just for fun. And you could figure out the derivative, and you could say dx dy, the derivative of position in the x direction divided by with respect to the position in the y direction. There are all sorts of things that you do. In, but in general, we're going to use time most often in this class. For those of you who've been using this a lot, please do not use this symbol. Or this symbol. The reason I don't have you use those is because just you know this is the derivative with respect to time, and this is to be the second derivative. Um, the reason I ask you not to use those is because these little pieces, these commas, are easy to lose, and it's much harder to lose what's going on if you actually use the full symbol. And I know there is a lot of writing there, the difference between the two. Oof. I know in our text, just text messaging generation, actually, we probably don't even text message anymore. 